What's up guys? Well, as promised, here is the kind of video that I wanted to make on what I did with a transit van. If you remember the review I did on the uh, Triumph Speed Triple 1050, I did say then that as much as I love the bike, I may end up selling it just simply because um, I didn't like having all my money tied up in one vehicle. And I was thinking about getting a small run around or a car or you know, just anything for the winter and then basically seeing how I felt in the springtime and then maybe get another bike then what i actually did was buy a transit van i'm gonna try and link in some photographs of what this van was like when i first got it because <laughs> trust me it didn't look like this and so you can see what's been done over the last six maybe seven weeks um i picked this up for a couple of grand from a local dealer 121,000 miles 2004 transit van two liter di so you know it's got enough poke for me basically the paintwork was pretty good uh, to start with to be honest so i didn't really need to worry about that kind of stuff um I, the engine is brilliant no smoking nothing like that so i was very happy with that what i've done over the last six weeks is effectively changed the entire interior to turn this into a surf van day van that kind of stuff you know i didn't want to go down the route where people put sinks in and cookers in and all that kind of nonsense um, I just wanted it to be designed so basically somebody can jump in here with their surfboard and go down to Newquay for the weekend have a load of fun and be able to keep in it overnight if they wanted to that kind of stuff um, and I think it's turned out pretty bloody good to be honest um, one of the first things I did was change the Ford badges uh, an odd thing to start with but they were completely shot um, and they're about 20 quid plus off eBay um, to buy them new. So what I did is I found a guy online who sells the stickers and I sanded off the original uh, backing plate and uh, sprayed them black and stuck these stickers on, which are about two quid, I think, one on the front, one on the back. And I think it's turned out nice with the whole black and white effect here. It looks better in my opinion. And a new Ford Transit van, just little things to get things started. The wing mirrors were a bit battered and bruised, managed to pick up a set of those off eBay for 40 quid shipped, brand new. So I was quite happy with that. Um, chrome handles all the way around, again about a ten off eBay I think. Um, wheel trims, didn't like the original wheel trims, again picked these up off eBay, 40 quid I think they were, something like that. I resprayed the rear bumper corners um, and amorited the, uh, the middle of it because again it was looking a little bit tired so I thought I'll just get on with that while I was there. And then some of the big money was spent. Um, I didn't want to, I wasn't brave enough basically to put these um, windows in um, because it wasn't like this when I got it obviously. So I paid a company uh, close to me about 500 quid to put in the two uh, barn doors they call them, uh, black windows in and the side one as well. And what else did we do then? I didn't do anything to the front bumper, to be fair, because um, I just didn't think it needed spray. Not as much as the back one did, at least, anyway. Let me just whip this off a second. And then we'll move around to the front. Sorry if it's a bit shaky today, guys. I'm still at the side of the road because, if basically, I don't have much of a choice today on doing that. Um, I was going to get a company to put on the stripes on the bonnet for me. I was going to get them to paint them on, because apparently it's much better. But I decided in the end to have a go myself. There's the other black badge. I think they came out pretty good, quite frankly, considering I've never done that before. I changed the headlight bulbs for some Philips Extreme Vision um, and some LED uh, side light bulbs. Uh, they look great. And some little uh, LED strip ones at the bottom of the bumper there, as you can see. And a sun sort of strip at the top there. That's pretty much the interior as it stands at the moment. Um, the interior, well, you'll know about the stereo if you've seen the other video um, and how we put that in. I did get some cheap seat covers. I wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't. Um, they were about 20 quid from a company off eBay. Garbage. They literally fell apart um, as soon as you put them on. They weren't fitted for a transit. I don't know where they get that from. I found these. That's three times the price, but I think they look a lot better. Now, the problem with these, if there is one, is the company admitted they're not really made for a transit van. They're made generically for a two seat and a one seat, and you just kind of make them fit. They fit a lot better than the other ones, but they're not dedicated the transit van uh, seat covers don't ever get fooled by that because it's all cobblers you know they'll tell you that but then you know they'll admit to it in the end i put a rear view mirror in uh, obviously because now we have back windows so uh, you know it seems the way to go these little led lights here i thought were a brilliant little buy there's two of them uh, because these ones up here crap you can't even change them for led bulbs because they're um, the led bulbs are reverse polarity so they don't even come on so that was sort of a pain in the ass but these were 2.99 from little push on push on little map light whatever you like i wanted some color in here so what i did is i got these curtains here for about a tenner from a local discount shop put those in they're surprisingly dark when you close them um 
Now then, the matting on the floor, uh, cut for a transit van, uh, because obviously if you've got a transit, or if you've seen a transit, they are just plastic flooring basically, but this, I thought, came out quite nice. A bit grubby obviously, but you know, again, I think it came out quite nice. Now then, let's get to the interior. That's where the design kind of came in, um, for want of a better word. I'm not a designer, as we probably know, but this is what we did. Have a look at that. So, what did we do? We basically stripped out all these panels here, you can see that are screwed in. We stripped those out, sanded them back, carpeted them, and then replaced them all the way down. The wheel arch boxes here, again, they were sanded back and stained, and then furniture polish with some really nice furniture polish. And then I got these cushions ready cut for the right size for the top of those. And I wanted something a bit different. Um, I find a lot of these van conversions, they can be a little bit like a padded cell, you know, just gray everywhere, you know. So I wanted a bit of color. So um, my mum, oddly enough, had some old curtains hanging around, these kind of Moroccan style uh, design here. And I thought, well, okay, let's try and use that and see what happens. I'm quite happy with the result, to be fair. One each side, really comfy seating position there. I picked up this secondhand futon off Gumtree, I think it was, for about 40 quid. Used the rest of the curtains to go up there. And then found this mirror, round mirror, in a local charity shop for a fiver. I thought that was a nice little buy. And the LEDs, 72 LEDs in each one of these, shipped from China, again off eBay, about 15 quid I think they were. Uh, but I was a bit disappointed with the roof because it was all just grey. Um, so I got some of the old ply that I'd bought to do another job and I cut those to the same shape and stained them and bolted them in. And I just think the contrast is kind of cool there. You know, not for everybody, but I kind of like it. These cabinets here, uh, basically one's an old cabinet that my mum had lying about, which I again, uh, I nailed in some plywood here and then stained it. And then I used some of the off cut from the carpet that was used here to cover the top. And I think it's worked out quite well, to be fair. Obviously it just comes around like so. If I just unhook this for a second, you can see what's going on behind. There's six storage units there. There's the subwoofer, one, two, three, four. And underneath there today, or yesterday I think it was, I fitted a split charger. No battery as yet, um, because I don't know what size to get yet. But the plan is to have a wall bracket there, uh, which kind of clamps into place as it were here, and then swings out so the TV sits there, maybe a 20-inch monitor, something like that. But uh, when you're sat on the sofa, you've got an amazing amount of legroom. And, you know, you can just sit, look out at the sea, if that's the kind of thing, you, you know, you've gone for if you've gone down to the beach or something. Um... These grass straw uh, cabinet thing here, I, I found this off Gumtree, again, I, I, um, no, eBay, sorry, I, um, I, I won that for seven quid. And again, nailed a bit of flywood to the side, sanded off all the white bits, because all this down here was just white form like a garbage. Spent a day sanding all that off and all this off here and then staining it to kind of try and match it in with the wood and grey effect, as it were. And then did the top to match here. And I think it's worked out pretty well, to be fair. Um, again, as you can see, we've used another bit of that Moroccan side curtain there to go on the front to cover everything up. I wanted to leave this open because, um, just for, again, a bit of contrast. There you go, another five quid chair off eBay. Can't argue with that. So you can sit there, have your cup of coffee in the morning, watch a bit of TV, whatever you want to do. Um, and then decide on your day. The other thing I did with the futon, which I wanted to mention, in case you're thinking about doing it, um, is I carpeted the bottom of the futon to match the floor carpet, as you can see, it, it, because it, it, to me it seems to flow all the way up to the back then. Um, now, the doors, if you've ever tried to carpet doors, uh, you'll probably find, as I did, it's the biggest pain in the ass job if you're using carpet. You need to use Veltrim, and even with Veltrim, to be fair, it's not an easy job. Um, so what I did is the simplest thing imaginable. I hammer, I painted them, that one and this one here. And it seems to me to have worked out pretty bloody good, to be honest. It was a far cheaper option than doing it with carpet. The other thing I did is these um, wooden panels. You normally get plastic panels or kind of cardboardy type panels um, on the doors here. I bought some plywood, cut them out off the original templates, um, sanded them, stained them, and then used these nice metal studs to... Um, to basically bolt them back into place. Again, I think the contrast is nice, you know. There's your window, obviously, you can see out of it, but as you'll see as we get out to the back, 
you can't see in it, which is fantastic. What else? Carpet strip. Again, nice little touch there. Makes it feel like much more of a home in that respect. If we go around to the back for a second, I'll show you. There's the back door. Again, as I said, hammerited, and then the panels just sanded and put back in. I put a reverse camera in, which I mentioned on the video. Just slots into there. Fantastic. About eight quid, I think, off eBay. Um, the uh what do you call it bulkhead um i whipped that off because it did come all the way to the top all the way down just a crappy bit of plywood i cut that in half then cut it into a third and i carpeted the bottom bit as you can see here to match the walls and then i left this nice bit of wood here and stained it to match everything else again all for contrast i didn't want it to be the padded cell that some of these vans tend to look like and i think it's worked out really well i'm so chuffed with this job to be quite honest you've got loads and loads of leg room that bed obviously folds out to a double bed you've got six storage units there another five down here plenty of surface space here and i'm gonna put in a four bank usb uh, plate over there which will basically have um, two usb charging points an on off switch with a voltmeter and a cigarette lighter that'll go over there somewhere and it'll run off the leisure battery which is going to go down there it just means basically if you've got anything that runs off a cigarette lighter or you want to charge your phone or your lab or your uh, ipad something like that you just plonk it into the uh, drawer down here and let it do it while you're driving along because in that respect you're not draining the um the, the van battery you're just running it off the leisure battery um i tinted the back lights as well as you can see i think that's turned out pretty bloody awesome um only a couple of coats because you've got to be a little bit careful uh with the old bill you don't want them coming along and saying oh you can't see your bloody lights etc etc I wanted to change these bulbs to LEDs, but the indicator one needs a relay because it flashes too fast. The brake light one is again, same as the cab lights, a reverse polarity, so it only works one way, which means it doesn't clip in. So if you're thinking about doing that, watch out for that one. Uh, you might have to pay a little bit more money. Um, these are the door handles we were talking about right around the beginning of the video. This was one of the most expensive things, of about eight quid that was. But again, I think it just covers things up really, really nicely. It's taken me about six weeks, all told, to get this van to the state it's in now. And I think that's time very, very, very well spent. I'll just give you another quick run round of the van. I love the interior. I, th I just think that's worked out so well. A lot of thought and time and effort and money, to be fair, has gone into doing this. I just think it's turned out really, really nicely. There's obviously a passion day department there. Anyway, if you're thinking about doing one of these jobs, now there's the lights on as well. Oh, there you go, there's the LEDs that come on with the doors. Um, if you're thinking about doing one of these vans conversions, then go for it. You know, you can pick up a van for anywhere between a thousand and two thousand pounds. If you're adept at using tools and you've got a bit of imagination, um, just get on with it. You know, it doesn't take a huge amount of time. The biggest job was probably the carpeting, to be honest, but that's because I've never done it before. And, you know, I had to learn as I was going. The idea was to put a ply panel in the roof and carpet that and bolt it in, but that didn't work out because I couldn't find a ply panel that was the right size. So I just thought, screw it. Um, and as you can see, what I actually ended up doing was just literally spray gluing an entire piece all the way along and then break it up with those two wooden panels there. I think it's turned out all right, personally. You know, some people would argue the fact, but you know, sod it. This, it's all about personal taste when you do a camper van conversion. Um, so budget yourself for about five or six hundred quid for the windows. Um, just, I would say, just keep an eye on the bodywork. Make sure there's no dents, no big scratches, that kind of stuff. Make sure it's not smoking. I mean, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments as always, guys. You know, um, I'd be happy to answer them because I've learned a hell of a lot doing this van. It's not going to hang around. I, it wasn't meant to be my forever van, to be fair. I'm going to probably sell it on um, and let somebody else use it, you know, because as I said, I'm down in Cornwall and uh, there's a huge surfing community down here uh, who want day vans and that kind of stuff. You know, they don't necessarily want a cooker and a fridge and all that kind of nonsense. They just want to get in it, have somewhere to kip, pot noodle of a night time, cup of coffee in the morning, uh, happy days. You know, they've got the GPS in the front head unit as well, so, you know, that's all good. All right, let's close this up. Um, as I said... If you've got any questions, um, if you've got any advice for me, because, you know, I'm new to all this. I have no idea what the hell I did, to be honest. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm now thinking about buying a bike again, of course. You know, when I sell this, if I make a couple of quid on it, fantastic. I might buy another van. I might do another van. You know, everyone down here seems to have the Volkswagen Transporters, the T5s, the T4s. Bloody expensive. You can pick one of these up for less than a couple of grand. Um, and I, I just think it looks pretty bloody awesome. And there she is.
my van done 2016 I thought it was going to take me six months to do this van it actually ended up taking me about six weeks in fairness I'm not working at the moment so I've had all the time in the world to do it anyway that's it um, I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions drop them in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer them cheers